Swimming is pretty much giving me everything. It just gives me that real drive to better myself each and every day. Teenager Tupo Naufi has taken silver at the World Swimming Championships. Tupo Naufi has won New Zealand's first gold medal at the Tokyo Paralympics. When you're at the top of the table, everyone expects you to stay at the top of the table. I want to win so bad. But that self-doubt never stops creeping in. Do I feel like I'm on track? No. <laughs> um, there's been a lot of ups and downs this year, mostly downs so far. I definitely feel tons of pressure. I wake up at about 4.30 almost every morning. I 100% believe most athletes have at one point thought about throwing in a towel. For me, it happens every couple of months. <laughs> Hey guys, hurry up, go, go. 33, 41, Tupo, 15, 5, 16, 1. Been coaching her for 11 years now. Hup! I, I think she came through, uh, was it eight going on nine? She's 20, 21 this year. Wow, that's a long time. Hey Toops, Toops, just want to make sure that you lift your chin up nice and high. Tupo was my first para athlete or an athlete with a disability. The fatigue factor is quite challenging for both of us. I remember absolutely nothing about my accident. I was a victim of a hit and run. The car then stopped, they just kept going and they never found the driver. I was transported to the hospital, but my parents thought I had already passed away. I did flight line for a bit until they revived me. I was two and a half years old. It left me with traumatic brain injury. And my left side is smaller and weaker than my right side. But in the pool, my left and right side feel the same. So it basically makes you feel normal. For a lot of Polynesian cultures, having a disability is a bad thing. It's like karma on the family, and that's why a lot of families tend to just leave their kids at home. I'm just lucky with my family that, you know, my parents were able to see through that. So this is where I live. Definitely is unusual for, you know, a Polynesian to move out of home this early. You gotta move out when you're married. And then over here is where my happiness begins. It's our food cupboard. And pretty much it's just filled with food. So um, that's why it's my happiness, because I guess you just come get what I want and just eat it whenever I want as well. <laughs> With our culture, we usually just cover up or, you know, wear t-shirts and long pants and stuff. But, you know, especially with swimming, I'm wearing togs, so you can pretty much see everything. Two. There would be a bit of talk as to she should wear a t-shirt when she swims. But it's kind of like, wow, that's not going to get me a gold medal, isn't it? <laughs> Once I started racing, I never saw any other Polynesian. I started to notice that I was different because other people saw me differently. There was a country that I went to, there was a car that drove past and they like put their window down, honk, and then called me a monkey. So yeah, I just felt, I guess, quite shaken up. I 
I started to look at myself in the mirror and just be like, oh, like, why do I look like this? I was very envious of other people that had very European-like features. Definitely was my darkest highs. My performance was also going downhill. Here's to Monuifi of New Zealand, 16 years of age. 2018 Commonwealth Games, I didn't get the medal that I wanted. Colt comes up. Which was a huge blow. I was disappointed for her, not disappointed at the way she swam. I was locking myself in my room. Staying on my phone all the time, I almost cry myself to sleep every night thinking that I wasn't good enough. I was getting help, but it wasn't working for me at the time. I just wanted to drown myself in training so that I don't have to think about anything else. Then I kind of Paid off. It just made me feel like it was just totally worth it. And then I was willing to get the help that I needed. And I was just so hungry and my determination literally just shot up and the adrenaline, it was just amazing. I'd love to get another gold medal, but it's all about the training. If it's not me, it's going to be someone else. Just very fired up. I want that gold. Today we are reporting 11,382 community cases. I've got COVID. The timing is just absolutely terrible. It's been hard for me to get out of bed. Cough's been pretty bad. I literally can't do anything. I can't go out and train. So with long COVID, physicians are trying to predict what it looks like, but again with Tupo's disability, you know, with the fatigue factor, and we don't know how she responds. I'm going through a bit of a mentally tough time. 50 days to go, it's a little bit nerve wracking. With so much pressure, sometimes I just feel like it's too much. I've never been this anxious about a race ever before. Standing on the scales, I gained more than I should have. Just really threw my head around a lot. I had so much doubt in myself. As soon as I get out to the box, and it's just me against the clock. It's pretty much game on from there. Now, if he has made a strong start. And at the turn, it's Neopi who's in first place. On the second lap coming back, I had so much self-doubt. I felt like the tank was just so empty. Alan Ty is pulling away from Neopi. And Tupo Neopi gets silver. When I touched the wall and saw that I was second, I was just super relieved that, you know, it was me. <laughs>
sports is definitely a very powerful thing. It makes you feel like you're on top of the world. People don't see the tears and the stress. There was a time that we thought that was, you know, she's gonna give up. Welcome home. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm just grateful that she stuck through. Oh, this is awesome. I definitely feel like if I can get through this year the way I have, then I can get through anything. So, yeah, really excited for what's to come. The rest of the time's waiting for you. <laughs> I've finally accepted myself for who I am and the culture that I represent. I'm so proud to be a Tongan and I wouldn't have it any other way.